This is Jared, my husband. And this is Jenny, my wife. How are you? This is the Cherry Pie Cottage Show. Welcome. We are going to start with Whip It Up. And I'm going to have to start because he doesn't have a lot. No. No, I don't knit like she does. No. I have a few things. Knitting's kind of my life. I even made a shop for it. So, I'm working on socks. And I'm doing the um, Make Your Own Stripes using um, No Makers uh, Mini Skeins. I'm going to remember words, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> a mini skein set that was a Valentine's set in 2016. But um, I've already done all the repeats up to here. And I don't know which ones are which. But it's I Love You, Do You Love Me. Red. Well, I can show you the red. The red is there. Um, <laughs> that would be the red. Yes. Love, true love. Pink, which is, you know, that color. It's the brown that's yes. in there. Zombie kisses. I do know that one. That one is this one. No. It's <clears throat> this one. This is the zombie kisses. See? Isn't it pretty? Um, <laughs> gray and lovey-dovey. And I'm also using for the white is uh, Knit Picks white so original right <laughs> and then I have contrasting heel and toe and I don't have a clue what it is it was just in my leftovers what was the type of heel that you put in there oh I used a fish lips kiss heel and I am knitting on size ones and these are chow goose 64 stitches around and Judy's magic cast on for the toe I knit toe up I cannot do toe down and I have to do two at a time Otherwise, I won't ever have a pair of socks. You said yours was 56 around? Nope, 64. 64? That's bigger than what I made mine. Oh, but well you have a smaller yarn. Yeah, yours I have fingering weight. Yours is not. Do you want to talk about your socks? I do. He I do. actually is knitting socks. He is Be cast on. Before, How many? Bef <laughs> before I show you this one, I have this other pair of socks <laughs> that... When did I start this pair? And when we were still living in North Carolina, you were still we, in the military. So, probably... Texas. Ago, three years ago. Um, so, this is what I started about three years ago. <laughs> As you can see... What yarn is that? What size or what brand? What yarn? It's No Makers. It is No Makers. It was a... It's uh, No Makers Smell My Feet, I think. Yes. It was a doppelganger set. Yep. So, both the, the solid toe and the multicolored are no makers. And if you can see it, let me get it a little closer here. I was putting some, some ribbing there in the top of the sock and just doing stockinette on the bottom. Uh, but like I said, this pair of socks is about three years in the making. And you see how far along I've gotten. Now. No, I think it's two years, not three. So, only two. Only two. Only two. Only two. Yeah. After the oh. first two, who counts, really? Sidebar, by the way, we live here in Lubbock, Texas. <laughs> We're both very super Texas. Texas! Yes. But I have an Okinawan cup. Why do I have an Okinawan cup? Uh, I would imagine because we lived there for four years. Yeah, we did. Because he did. was in the Air Force. I was in the military, and I got to spend four years... Living on a tiny tropical island that rains okay. probably nine months mm, out of the year, nine to thirteen months out of the year, and <laughs> on the plus you get to wear flip flops eleven yes, out of the twelve. Yes, flip flops and Bermuda shorts, pretty much year round. Yeah. All right, so contrasting that pair of socks that I just showed you, on top of the several other ones he is frog. Nobody asked you. <laughs> this. Is one, and I don't. We don't have sock blockers yet, so please excuse the floppiness. Um, this is one that I started maybe what two weeks ago? Mm, three weeks, maybe. Three weeks ago, maybe. While well, you talk about it. Three weeks ago. This is also no makers yarn, and I have another skein of it here. See the pattern? This is a made up pattern. This is a made up pattern. Um, oh. And it, it was one, it was just a basic sock that you could mix and match the pattern however you wanted. And if you were ever good at the mystery eye posters back in the 90s, you might see 
a design there in the bottom of the sock. But Kent, it's where we live. We love this our is No Makers, and it is the Mercury colorway. There it is. Uh, I have a whole other skein to do my second sock with. What weight is this? Because this is worsted. And that's why it went so quick is because the first ones, those orange and black ones, were on fingering weight. And I'm just no good with fingering weight. I, I, it takes me forever to knit anything. And this, this is all that's left from knitting that first sock. And I've already got a toe for the second one. Yay, he so, finished one. I am halfway done with a pair of socks, and I still have one on the a pair on the needles that's been there for two years. <laughs> so progress. Yes. Oh, oh, and this, this oh this is a bag from my shop, which by the way, I am the owner of Cherry Pie Cottage. Um I have one I of these. I love this left. bag. <laughs> I love this bag. It's cats making sushi. See? I'm not a cat person, but Thanks. you can definitely appreciate yeah. a cat making sushi. And there's the inside sushi. I have one of these left in the shop, and after that, there's not any more. So, I sold out of all the other ones. Do you have more to whip up? Yes, I do. I have lots more to whip up, because again, I knit daily for at least two hours throughout the day. It's not just sitting all the time. Um, this is a shawl, so you can see the... <laughs> It's Miss Babs on the Kira. It's a heavy fingering weight. See? Um, and the Mantis colorway. And this is a pattern by... Do you mind holding that? Yes. Um, pattern by Hohi Locatelli. And it is... That's got the color pretty good, actually. Yeah. For, to real life. Let's see. Oh, it's inner piece. got a little got a little gyoza stitch marker or progress awesome. keeper hanging there. I'm really enjoying this one because it knits side to side, but it's not your typical from one point to the other. I'm not going to get a view. I'm not going to give away any of the secret sauce though. So that's a stitch marker I made. And this one, where is it? The dumpling? Right there. That is from Sucre Sucre Miniatures. And then... Before you just got I started some little, making them, yeah. Little light bulb ones on that end. Yeah, that's for my short rows to mark where my wrap, wraps and turns were. Um, that's really about it. I'm working on that slowly. I started it and was all gung ho about it and ready to go, and then I started other stuff because I get cast on itis really bad. He usually has to tell me, "Hey, you said you weren't going to cast on anything else." I do. But I do anyways. Do you have another one or do you I want do. me to go again? I have one more. Okay, do you want me to I have one more because I'm, I try to be monogamous as, most, as much as possible. Uh, but it, it happens sometimes that I have more than one thing going. This is the Harvest scarf. And I can't remember who designed it. Oh, I forgot one thing. Sorry. And, well, it's not your turn. I'm sorry. This bag is by Freckled Whimsy. Just... Sorry. Side note. So, let me get it closer so you can see. I love doing cables and ribs. And they're kind of hard to see with the variegation. But I love doing these. It's got, let me see, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, no. Two, four, five. Five. Five different cables going the length of it. And I ran out of my original color right about there. And so, as you can see, and it's really showing up in the video. It's really showing up on the camera. You can see the color difference right in here of switching from one yarn to another. And what yarn did I even use here? I know down One here, no down makers. here, the reddish orange color is a no makers uh, blanky, dunker. blanky dunker that was knit up double, and I was holding that double. And it doesn't have a colorway name because it's her like one of a right. kind colorways. I was holding it double 
With another gnome with makers. With another gnome makers, a um, gnome of the woods, Yes, I believe. In a gnome the, of the woods. And big in the in, Do you have the tag? Yeah. Okay. The, the, the blanky dunker, the orange there, was a worsted, I believe. No, because it I was, was holding a, it double. It was it was a blanky dunker, but it was a double knit one. So okay. that way you pulled two at a time. Yes. There we go. So I'm actually holding this triple. Um, I have two strands of orange and one strand of the uh, No Makers, Gnome of the Woods in there. But you recently added in a new orange. And Well, yeah, that's what I was talking about right there. Oh. Right there. Um, this one has been about a year in the making. No, it was and last summer. Because you did it when it? we were on vacation in San Antonio. I don't know. I don't know. I have so much going on. Yeah, because lose, he works. I lose track of days. I do work. He goes to work. Um, I stay home and homeschool our children and do my shop. But that is everything. Get rid of Superman there. That is everything <laughs> that I have in the works right now. So what else do you have? I am working on Longborn by Kay Jones. Yes, Kay Jones from the Bakery Bears. We love that podcast. That's the only one he'll watch with me. Dan and so, Kay, if you're watching, keep it up. Yes. You guys do great work. Yes. So this one is a Yoshi and Lucy on her Isabel in the Lagoon colorway. It is 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. And it is gorgeous. My daughter picked this out for me. Millennial Monkey, by the way. Uh, she picked it out for me for Christmas. So, well, here's the top. But... I am loving this knit. It's going to be gorgeous. And there's a little bit of cabling. I am not a cable person. I can do them. I just particularly don't care for them. But this one I picked because of the cabling in the border. I don't... I don't know why I did that. So, and then the border will be in this color. It's kind of a grayish blue. Um, it's Life in the Long Grass. Again, the colors are coming out pretty accurate. Yeah. To what it's actually... What I'm actually holding okay. here. So, yeah, this one is Life in the Long Grass on her fine sock, which is 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. Um, Silver Sky is the colorway. I haven't, I haven't worked on it much, but I have worked it on, on this week. And you're going to see several things come in and out throughout this. It doesn't mean that I've finished projects, it just means that that's what I'm working on right there at that mm -hmm. moment. Because I'm kind of fickle. I get bored and move on to another project. Quite frequently. <laughs> well, you're talking. I'm going to work on my new, on my second okay. sock here. You go right ahead and because do that. She's only got about 30 more projects to go, people. Do not. Stop it. Um, I have two more. This one, which is a bag by me. And it's got all, we are like huge Doctor Who fans, by the way. As you, as you can see, put the bag down, put the bag down. That's the TARDIS set. From Lego. From Lego, the Lego TARDIS set. And that's our little Dalek. <laughs> my father-in-law made me a TARDIS. It's in my room, I'm not we, gonna We show may you. show that someday. Yeah. Maybe we might bring it out here. Yeah, not right now. Um, and this one is my Tracy Shaw. Again, by Hohe Locatelli. And if you watch Grocery Girls and you've already heard about this, or if you just love Hohe, everybody's knitting this one right now. But That's what the cool kids are doing. Eh, I've already knit the Jody one. You'll see that one in um, Faux Party. Uh, but I am using two fingering white ones. There's the top. I've started adding, doing the stripes, and I've started on the first wedge. Sorry for all you headphone listeners with the, the needles. Um, this was my main color. And it is by Whip Yarns. Yes. In her Peachy King on the Sock Rock base. You have so, one of your stitch markers hanging off that shawl if you want to I show that. I do. Um, 
And then this one is No Makers, which by the way, we both love No Makers. She's going to pop up a lot. Um, this one is on her what, House Gnome, the Mimosa colorway. Um, and it just, it went perfectly. So, um, this bag, and then we have Daleks on the inside. I love this bag. Ooh, one more thing I wanted to show. Oh, the fest. This is, ooh, this is the Matt Smith Lego character. Matt Smith Doctor Lego character. And he's holding a little fez. And you could take his hair off and put the fez on top of his head. But he looks weird mm -hmm. then. He looks bald. Yeah, yeah, then he looks bald. But I think they did a pretty good likeness of him there. So. I love Legos. Yes, we know. They don't so this is one of my stitch markers. I have two sets of these left. They come with a boy and a girl marshmallow. And I have some of the bags. But thanks to Amber of Yarn Hoarder, those are kind of almost sold out. Um, I had a rush on them from her because she showed them. Uh, I think that's about it for this project. So should we should we talk about why we started knitting or how we got started in it? Sure. I mean, since this is our first episode, sure. Uh, episode itchy, if you will. <laughs> um, not itchy. No. Okay, we itchy. don't we don't have fleas. But Ichi. As in the Japanese the for one. Japanese number one. So, a few years ago, while we were still living in North Carolina and I was still in the military. Three um, years ago, to be exact. Three years ago, we were, we were talking about how different skills and uh, traditions had been lost uh, from older generations down. You know, there are things that our grandparents knew how to do at a young age that never got passed down to us. And one of them that we brought up was knitting. And we thought, you know what? Why not? Well, we Let's, were at Michael's because we, I love Michael's. I was looking yeah. for arts and craft stuff. She was looking for arts and craft stuff. stuff. They had yarn on sale. Um, and, of course, at Michael's, all you can really get is, like, the nylon and the yeah. acrylic yarn. Which We learned really you know, quickly, don't buy yarn yeah. from Michael's if you want the good stuff. But that's why we started, honestly. There's not... there. Unfortunately, there's no tragic backstory there that led us to knitting or any kind no. of me childhood memories. It's just... No, I we wanted, wanted to, to learn, try. and he said, well, I'll learn with you. Yeah. So we did. So my last project is a sweater. Well, a cardigan. And I started this one before the cowl started for it, and there was no way I was going to be able to finish it for the cowl. Anyways, it is the Portage by Melissa. I'm not even going to attempt to say her last name, but there you go, because I can't. Let me see. Melissa... Yeah, I'm not going to try that one either. Yeah. Um, but it's a lot more complicated than I was thinking. I thought these were eyelets. They're not. I'm not going to give away anything else. But here's the back. I've is, that, already, is that a paid pattern? Yes. Okay. I've already separated for the sleeves. And then here's the front. Now I'm just working my way down the body, and then I'll come back and pick up and do the sleeves and the shawl collar. Um... I am using Knit Picks Swish Worsted in the Dusk colorway because we cannot afford for me to buy the super nice hand dyed yarn for a sweater. And Knit Picks is still really nice. It is 100% superwash merino wool. And I am knitting this on a size 7. And these are my Haya Haya Sharps interchangeables. I love Haya Haya Sharps. I would use them on everything if I could afford to buy all of the Haya Hayas. But I can't. I'm just an old-fashioned knitting man. <laughs> but I prefer the Chow Goos, personally. I like, I, I like Chow Goos, too. The, the cable, that's what I'm using on this sock. Uh, what I like about the Chow Goos is their cable doesn't have much memory to it. So even if it stays wrapped up in a in a package or in whatever you store your needles in, uh, when you do pull it out, it's not going to be all kinked up and you know getting in the way. 
of your knitting. That's why I prefer the chow goose personally. I like so. chow goose too, and I do like the cables. The cables on high high sometimes are very, very irritating. But that is all of my whips. And now for something completely random. And now for the news at seven. Uh, this afternoon, a hunyaker was seen frolicking down the avenue, and there was a kidnapping at a local school today. Luckily, he woke up before lunch. <gasps> <laughs> what else was in the news today? I don't know. What else was in the news today? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? You're the news reporter, not me. Millennial monkey. This is our daughter, Millennial Monkey. Who's trying She's, not to be in it, but she wants to be in it. Yes. So She wants to, but she doesn't. Hey, babe. Hey. Why was Caesar's cell phone bill so high? Why? Because he was always Roman. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do him straight-faced. He can, but... There's a new movie coming out very soon. It is, being, it is starring Leonardo DiCaprio as the actor. Michael Bay will direct it. And Matthew McConaughey has been quoted as saying, All right, all right, all right. That's going to be a great movie. <laughs> now, now it's time for Faux Party. I what do you want to start with? That. I know, I changed my mind. Do we want to start with the things that we have both knit? I think we should. Those or these? No, these. Okay. These. So I knit a squid. And I knit a squid. Pattern is Susan Claudino, um, her Callie and Mari, and this is on Cascade 220 in the blue color. I don't know. I lost the tag a long time ago. You want to talk about yours? I do, but you know, you can't, no, you can't really see it. Let me bring it a little closer here, even with yours. So this is one <laughs> that I knit, and this was... I can't remember the yarn I used. It's not No Makers. No, it, we, we bought I, it when we I, were on vacation. I bought it on vacation at a shop. It's a super bulky. It's a hand dyed. We'll but look but it, it is a hand dyed. And as you can see, I love the way it's swirling. And I love the eyes. He got frog eyes. <laughs> the eyes. And I had to go this big because of how big the squid is. Are they googly? The, they are googly a little bit. Not, not too much. But <laughs> this one I knit for Millennial Monkey, while this one was knit for... Stink Bug. Stink Bug, our son. So... so. Our and, children... And, the, and we are holding these even with each other yes. now. This one really is that big. Because this is worsted and this is super bulky. Yes. So, so, as you can see, it's awesome. So, that's there. our squids. Millennial Monkey, catch. She didn't catch very she, well. She doesn't. She's on her phone. I can catch. She catches as well as the side of a barn. <laughs> and, not true. And since Easter is coming up, why not? I mean, these these are fairly old. Since this is our first episode, we figured why not just show a few because this will be yes. the one show that has this many foes in it. But this is Little Bunny Foo Foo. This mm. one was for Millennial Monkey. And this one was for Stinkbug. This yarn is Miss Babs, one of her Yowza's leftover deep sea jellyfish, I believe. But and then the tail. Well bunny butt. It, it was a gnome acres mini skein from one of the mystery ones. This so, one I used um Gnome Acres. It's a gnome acres. It was one of her zombie colorways. Redwood. No, it, no, it wasn't no Redwood. it's a it's a zombie colorway. Zombie. zombie Sunset? No, I can't remember. It's one of the zombie ones. I can't No remember. Makers, if you're watching, help us out. Tell us what this colorway is because I can't remember the name of it and I threw the the band away a long time ago. Even if it's not No Makers, if you can tell us, please tell us. Or the Bunny Butts. Oh, I and, know this one. That one's Silver Surfer. And this one is a, is a Sir. He's got a little mustache. This one's a girl. That She's got flowers in her hair. Her ears. And... A little bunny butt. And that no, the, one is beast. The, yeah, that's beast. That's beast. So here, catch. <laughs> do you want she to go again, or do you one. want me to go? Why are um, go. I'll, I'll go first. Okay. I'll go first. This is one of the very first things, if not the first thing, I ever knit. And this was right after we got started. And I knit it from some acrylic yarn that I bought at 
either Michael's or Hobby Lobby, one or the other. And then promptly wore it two times and decided it was too itchy. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a big fan of the the acrylic yarn, but that's a... I like the colors in it, and I ended up giving this one to Stinkbug for him to wear. He even made got, tassels. I made tassels. You did this while you were... Um, I did this in Vegas, actually. Yes, when I was, you were TDY. I was on, work, on a work trip to Vegas and sat in my hotel room instead of going out and... Because we don't losing, do that. Losing all sorts of money. Or drinking. Because or drinking. we don't do that either. So? We drink Dr. Pepper and yes. coffee. Yes. And tea. As you can see. Yes. So this is my Jody shawl. Let's see if this is the right way. This is the right way. And it's really quite big. Can you help me out here? Yeah. So here's one point. And then it goes along and along and along. And, and there's the other point. Yes. This peachy color is People Who Fields. I need to look that up, what color it was, because I forgot. While you're doing that, I'll, I'll keep okay. showing the colors. The brown the is brown a there. No Makers Tweety DK. All of these are DK. Um, and that one is cookies. To me, it kind of looks like strawberry and mint chocolate ice cream. Mixed yeah, together. let's see. People who fields it was beach body, and then the minty green is lemonade shop hook line and sinker. And I am like obsessed with the minty color. It's coming off more blue than mint right now. Uh, no, I think and that's still pretty accurate. This coral color. I don't know what my thing is, but it's all nice and. Cozy. Of course, you know, living in Texas, I get to wear this maybe a month and a half out of the whole year. Yeah, we don't get much time to actually no. wear all this stuff that we make. Yeah, it gets down into the 50s and I like jump the gun and like shawls and sweaters and hats and because I want to, to well, wear my Most people stuff. go pumpkin crazy in the fall. She goes wool crazy. Yeah. I used to go pumpkin crazy and then I burnt myself out. So is that it for that shawl? Yes, it is. So the next thing I have, and again, this is a this is a Dan and Kay or Kay Jones hey, designed this. It is the Messalina cowl. Uh, this is oh, this was oh, uh, this is a this is a spun right round uh, yarn. I can't remember the name of it. I I wind the yarn up and pretty much just get rid of the ball. That's spun the right ball round band, but. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on. So, this is, like I said, it's a Messalina. Can you see the cable there? It, it works really great when I have a jacket on. And I tend to fold it in half a little bit. So that way it's not too high up or too far down. But I think just right there, I think it works really good. Keeps my neck nice and warm. And when you double it up, it's even warmer. But you can see the the cable going down. And then there's another one on that side. Uh, I had this pattern already because when we first started, I had knit my mother a Messalina cowl or shawl. Shawl. Rather. I had knit her a Messalina shawl. And then when Kay released the the cowl version, I made sure to... You got it free because I you got it. Free. I got it free because I had already bought the the shawl pattern. But that's my cow. On the same note, this is not. This was incorporated the handbrake, which is by Kay Jones, the handbrake cow pattern. But this is more of a made up one because I put in a little bit of an eyelet lining and. But uh. This is No Makers Camping. It was a doppelganger set. So this one is the Camping with Hippos. And I can't remember what she called this one. But I love it because I don't like it like way up here like he does. I like mine kind of flooped out a little bit. It still keeps me warm, but it's not like sucked up to my neck like he likes. So I don't like the cold air getting in there. If I can keep that out, then I will. Yeah. And this was on her worsted weight. What was it? Squishy gnome? Squishy gnome. Yeah, squishy yep. gnome is the worsted. Yep. Would you like to go again or do you want me to go? Um, I'll go. I got a couple more items. Okay. 
Um, we have two more too. I've got a pair of gloves that I knit. And the bad part about these is when I put them on this, I didn't do so great of a job. I'm not blaming the pattern or the yarn by any means. I didn't do so great of a job. So when I put them on, I get a, I get a little gap like right there and in between all the fingers. Put them on so they can um, see. It's Miss Babs. Coffee is it Miss Babs? That's right. It was co maybe not coffee break. It was coffee so, something. There's that. And maybe it's there's, one, there's one of the holes there. You can't really but see it, them there, but yeah. but it they is, are e even even with the holes, they are very warm. Uh, when my steering wheel is really cold in the morning, these help. These definitely come in handy. Yes. But these are my gloves. This is uh, the only pair of gloves I knit for myself. Uh, I knit Millennial Monkey a pair of fingerless mitts. We'll show those next that, time. Yeah, we'll we'll do those some other time. Because. Again, like he said, he's a very slow knitter. I am very slow. And he gets on kicks where he is all about it, and then other times where he will go months and not knit. There are times I just want to sit on the couch and watch TV after work. But maybe with this podcast, we can kind of help nudge maybe. him on. So this one is another shawl, which I love because both of these yarns were MCN. This one is Wonderland Yarns. Let me see if I can find it on... Sorry, I'm looking it up on Ravelry because I want to make sure I tell everybody what it really is. If I put it on Ravelry, because apparently I didn't. Ah, there it is. This one is her Albuquerque Sunset pattern. And I know this, the... You the didn't pinky. take the wrong turn at it, did you? No. Huh. No, because mine is actually called Pink Texas Sunset, because I am not from Albuquerque. I am from Texas. This pinky color is Frabdress Fiber Fibers Queen of Hearts in the Pink Daisies colorway, which is by Wonderland Yarns. And then this colorway right here is Stranded Dye Works, and in on her Paradise. Paradise, I can talk, I promise, Words in, <laughs> in the Flamingo Legs colorway, which I love, which my husband got for me last um, year for my birthday because she is based in England. I tend to not buy yarn for myself outside of England because... Outside I, of the U.S. Outside of the U.S., yes. Not England. Again, I can talk. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Geography. I just say a lot of things <laughs> that I know what I'm trying to say. They come out completely different. It's my dad's fault. Um, <laughs> I don't buy yarn outside of the U.S. because I don't want to pay for the shipping on it. Because it's usually two and, and three and four times more than I could get in here in the U.S. And some of the best dyers we've come across, unfortunately, yes. are in England yes. or Europe or somewhere yes. outside of the U.S. And so... He will buy it we, for me. We'd have to give up Millennial Monkey in order to afford to buy it. Yes. And that's not something we're willing to do. There is tons of yarn days. that I would love to try from other dyers. <laughs> but like I said, I don't want to pay two, three, four times the amount of shipping that I could pay here in the U.S. So usually if I get yarn from outside the U.S., it is from a yarn shop or he gets it for me for my birthday or Christmas. And sadly, the closest... Yarn shop to us is three or four hours away. No, well, it's like two hours away. Oh, yeah, Midland. that direction. Midland. Midland. And then the other way is Dallas or San Antonio. And San Antonio is eight hours away. Something like that. And six. Dallas is about five, six yeah. hours away. So. so. Do you have so another one? I have one more. And it is a hat. This was one. Again, very cable-y. Very... You didn't want to show your very first hat? No. <laughs> no. Those poor folks don't want to see that. No. He made it for his head. It barely fit our son's head. No, that wasn't the first one I made. The first one I made was the really long one. Oh, that long, one. Yeah. Do you even know where that one is? I think it's over there. So, this one, like I said, very cable-y, very ribby. 
I like the top part. Show them the top part. I like part. the top part, too. It is... Let's it see. looks like Can a get flower, it? almost. A little bit. But it swirls. A little bit. And I, uh, I know that the cables and everything would show up better if I used a solid color or maybe just a tonal. But I love the variegated yarns. And this is... If you didn't no notice makers. that from all my other projects, I love the ones that are multiple colors. And... What color see. is this? This is... Is this Oi Space Boy? Or is no, this... No, that was your dry? cowl. Cowl was Oi Space Boy. No, I have that one. I don't know what that... I don't know. This remember. one is Sonic Screwdriver Sonic by Screwdriver. No Makers on her squishy gnome. So... He wears this one quite often. I do. This one, I really enjoy. So. <laughs> he doesn't do this. This is my life. <laughs> I, I am not a slouchy hat kind of guy. So, I guess that, that right there would be okay. But, I do really enjoy this one. And again, I don't hardly get to wear it all that much because of where we live. But, it comes in handy when I need it. My last one is a big one. It is my flax sweater. My very first sweater. And I got to about elbow length on the sleeves and said, I'm done. So, <laughs> I, yeah. And this is worsted weight. It's knit picks. I don't remember the colorway. Uh-oh. Um, Caught in my zipper. But I love it. Again, because of where we live. I don't get to wear it very often, and that was the other reason why I decided to do elbow length. So maybe I could get a few more days. Days. <laughs> maybe a week out of uh, wear out of it, but I love it. And it's already starting to floof because of when I did wear it. I wore it around Christmas time, and I was really glad for it because it got down in the single digits, and it does not do that Fahrenheit, by the way. Our normal winter is usually in the 30s and the 40s. So, and for us, that's cold. I know if you're up in the northern parts, that's not. You're laughing you're, at yes. us. Yes. And that's okay. Yes, but we also get 100 degree weather in the summertime. 100, 100 plus. Yes. And no humidity. Morning. So, at least it's dry. Yes. This place is like living on a saltine <laughs> cracker. It's, He's originally from Houston. I'm, so. from, I'm from South Texas where... You we walk know out what and moisture in the air feels like. And I'm used to walking out and it sucks out all the moisture out of your skin. That's just what I'm used to. Doesn't bother me as much. But that is it for faux party. Do you have any knitting that you are wanting to... I, I have a few things. I have a few skeins here that I have bought and I don't know what to do with them. I have hats... I could do more gloves, um, and I'm, I'm working on a pair of socks that will actually get finished. But this is the cast on itis section. By this the way. right here, another no makers, of course. But this one, I love this color. Again, very That's variegated. Very pretty too. By very the way. variegated, and it is the Nightwing colorway. It says it right there on the squishy gnome. On, on her squishy gnome, which again is worsted. Did we mention we love but, gnome makers? Yes. <laughs> yes. But I love smelling the yarn. I He's don't know a why. yarn smeller. I'm a yarn sniffer. Yes. Hi, my name is Jared, and I'm a yarn sniffer. <laughs> but, don't think you need therapy for that, dear. But again, gnome makers makes amazing yarn. Very soft, very... Especially the worsted is... The colors. I mean, it's, it's thick, it's fluffy, and it, it'll keep you warm, even when you don't need to be kept warm, like here in Lubbock. <laughs> so, can I show another one? I only have two. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay, this... I've already wound up the yarn. And this is by the Cozy Up with the Stitch and Sisters. I love their podcast, by the way. So if you see this, hi! This is the Katie shawl. This one just came out. And I am... I have to get some things off the needles. I'm making myself wait. <clears throat> but this would be my main color. That one's nice. This one is by Artistic Lily. And it's If You Rest, You Rust. I love this colorway. I have tried to knit it in other projects. And it just... 
well, one other one, and it just did not go, it wasn't showing the color enough, so I wanted something that would show it more. And then the contrast is by Yarn Carnival, which is a Texas dyer, by the way. Hey. Hey. And this one is the Time Traveler colorway. And it's on her high wire, which is 100% superwash. It's a fingering weight. But I'm excited to do my Katie shawl. But again, I have to hurry up and knit things. Whip up a lot more so I can have some more in the faux showdown. Before I can cast on. So that was the Katie shawl. And this will be the first thing that jumps onto the needles when I am done. Hopefully with the Tracy shawl soon. I'm hoping. It's got short rows in it. And you go ahead. Yes. That was a bag by me, and that was just a prototype, <laughs> by the way. So, my my <laughs> bad habit is I like to buy yarn based on the name of the dyer or <laughs> the manufacturer. Or uh, the colorway. Or, or the color. The colorway is first, and then I look at the name of it. I'm um, guilty of that, too. This one, I think, is an awesome colorway. It is called that is very Bifrost. Cute. It's called Bifrost. It is a another worsted, and it is by Black Trillium Fibers, which is in. Where is Black Trillium? No, I already said the Bifrost. I'm where Where are they located sure. at? Do you want me to uh, look it up? I can look it up. I think they're. I think they are up in the northwest portion see. of the U.S. Uh, Black Trillium Fibers. Fibers is R E S. And I bought this. Mm -hmm. I bought this at a at a yarn shop down near San Antonio. But again, I have yarns that I don't have patterns for. So if anybody has a pattern that this would look great in, please let me know. And I am not above knitting for somebody else. But it does not say. Hmm. Oh, Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. So yeah, the northwest portion of the U.S. Um. And what's funny is he is really into this orangey color, but he's a natural ginger. You can't see it in his hair now, so orange makes him look orange, but yet he loves orange. I like orange. Here rec so, just here recently, really. Yes. I'm not sure why. Green used to be his favorite color. Mostly just green, but... <laughs> and you have one more that you want to show? Yes, I do. Okay. Again, this is one of my bags. This is a prototype. Not sure if it's going to go in the shop or not, so don't get your hopes up. Sorry. Um, this one is the No Pressure Shawl by Stephanie Lutvin. Lutvin, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't know where she's from. Not either. If but I just, if I just offended you, Stephanie, I'm very sorry. This one, I am not in any hurry to get it done or anything. But for Christmas, my lovely husband bought me this. It is by My Mama Knits. Again, a UK-based ba dyer. This is on her single stranded sock blank 7525 superwash merino nylon. And it's just single batch sock 143 is the colorway. But it's a sock blank and it is gorgeous. And I didn't want to put this in socks because again, I do two at a time. But this color, this pink color, and this orangey peachy color are oh, love them. So I'm going to put this in a shawl and I finally found the perfect pattern to put it in. So that's what that's going to grow up and be is a no pressure shawl. And again I have to get more things off the needles before I can cast it on. I'm I'm forcing She's myself. She's a very polygamous knitter. Yes because the, the things that I have shown you that I'm working on there's at least five or six more that are over in my basket. I just haven't worked on them lately so yeah there's that <laughs> do you have something else you'd like to show yes i do let me put that stitch in so <clears throat> again <laughs> as as you all know by this point in time <laughs> uh i have yarns with no patterns you don't have any more right no okay so no. i have two more i have two more um i have this alpaca yarn that which are finally not a 
tight knitter so you can actually make right. it use it. Right. When I started, I could knit you some chain mail. That's how tight of knitter. He was pulling it was this bullet apart. Proof. It was doggone bulletproof. He was trying to knit with this and it would break. And yeah, it would, it would just come apart because of how tight I was knitting. So I have this one that I don't know. And I mean, you can see how much it is. Again, it's orange. So how much it's haloing. I think a but hat would be great. Maybe a hat. I'm afraid if it's right here, it, you're going to be like an maybe, orange. Maybe, maybe. But then, and I don't remember the name. I don't That's remember. That's Morocco. The, is it? Yeah. One of their alpaca ones. See, she remembers this stuff. I don't. So there's that. Again, I don't and have then, to have as much stuff in my brain as he does. And then I have this Malabrigo, which is the, oh, that's upside down. The Arakita colorway or base. I'm, and this is on. I don't, I don't understand Okay, the this is their name. Point. It's right. on the Machetta base. <laughs> on the Machetta base. single ply finger Machita, weight. On the Machita base. And the color is 885 Arakita. And it's a green. It's it's a variegated green with, there's some, I don't know, almost purple, I guess, right there. I don't know. And again, he can't do these but, in socks because they're single ply. So he needs but something. But I have had this since we learned how to knit almost. And it has just it's been sitting here. our first yarn store that we ever went to. Yeah. Still smells good, though. And he's still a yarn sniffer. I, I will always and forever be a yarn sniffer. Yep. So that is it. That is all yes. that I have in my stash. So now moving on to another segment called My Precious. <laughs> I'm sorry I did that. We didn't, we didn't Actually, plan for that. <laughs> we did not plan for that. Before we start that, let's do our snack attack. Snack attack. And today, everything is coming from our from favorite place. One of them. One of, one of our favorite. We Buckies. have to stop at this place every single time we pass one. We they can go, be 10 miles apart you're not showing from up. each other. They can be 10 miles apart from each other, and we will stop at both of them. We will it go 30, matter. 40 minutes out of our way to go to one. We have done it. Yes, and we can spend Ooh. not just one hour, but multiple hours. Multiple hours. <laughs> way more money than we should spend there. Refills. Refills. While we're still drinks. in the short store. So, but their bathrooms. If you say that, they won't let us back. All right. We pay so, for them, by the way. We do pay for our refills. So, so the first, the first snack attack that we are going to do is their beaver nuggets. These things. Oh, think uh, textured th Cheeto. Think of a Cheeto, but instead of the cheese, it's caramel. It's sweet. It's not it's, savory. It's so good. Yes. It, it's it's a it, it's almost a little salty. There is a little bit of salt. It's like there. a salted caramel. A salted caramel. And I could eat this whole bag in one sitting if I didn't pace myself. We have heard of fellow Texans using this as cereal. I've never <laughs> thought of doing that. You're not doing that. So, he's not doing that. <laughs> She's right. She's right. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. So... Are we going to eat some? Do you want some? I, no. Okay. And then, <laughs> so those and are millennial those monkeys. Those are millennial monkeys. We're not going to eat her beaver nuggets. No. Because he already think, ate all of his. I did. <laughs> they, don't, they don't stand a chance with me. And he ate all of his of these too. These are mine. <laughs> these are also from Bucky's, as you can do see. Do the cookie, not these flavors. As, do the cookie. Okay, fine. Sorry. So these <laughs> are, al yarn. <laughs> are also from Bucky's. And it's the same flavor as the beaver nuggets, but they in are in cookie, cookie form. form. So, oh, so good. So these right here, again, kind of a salty caramel taste These to are them. more salty than those. Sorry. But Talking with my mouth full. She's mm. very rude, people. In Japan, that's what they do. They do this. And so, they talk with their food. The same flavor, but in cookie form. And they are absolutely amazing. They're about the size of a, about a nickel, I guess. Which can get you in trouble because you yes. eat more thinking that, oh, no, well, they're small. There's, 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 there's they're, they're bite little, size. Little things can't be unhealthy. Oh, Millennial Monkey Millennial sharing. Monkey sharing. So, sorry for the crinkling. So, mm -hmm. Here we have the beaver nuggets. Like I said, think Cheeto, but salted caramel. Okay. Absolutely amazing. Could you say no? So good. 
The cookies are really good. Sorry, I had a moment night. of bliss there. <laughs> These are really good to have with a cuppa. Because we drink tea at night and coffee in the morning. So our mugs get a lot of use. And for those of you, excuse me, for those of you not in England, <laughs> cup a cuppa is a cup of tea. Yes. We watch we are a not, lot of... We are in no way British. No. But, but we, we watch we like, a lot of them. <laughs> we like British TV. And we like British Dan and Kay. Dan and Kay. The Bakery Bears, English. yes. So, maybe one day we'll get to go there and visit. Yes. But And we will have to go to Cardiff because we have to go see where Doctor Who was filmed. Yes. Yes, yes we have to go to Cardiff. Mm -hmm. So Yes. <laughs> Still on Snack Attack. <laughs> the third item from Bucky's, as you can see, there's and Bucky. This, we'll probably have more this at the oh, Easter oh, because yeah. we're going to Bucky's and we will film while we're in the store and you will yes. understand why we can spend hours, hours in there. I might even film the bathroom, not like in the stall, but you know, do a panorama. Of, yeah. Uh, you, the bathrooms are immaculate and they're clean and there's... You, you could do it in the girls' bathroom because yeah. I think that's all enclosed. Yes, you know? yes. The guys' bathroom still has urinals and nobody yeah, wants no, to Yeah, no, we're not doing that. that in the men's, no. So these are another version of their little cookie. But as you can see, they're lemon-flavored. And it's not it's not like smack you in the face, you know. Just real light. You, you don't eat them and some lady comes in going, that's the power of pine saw, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're, it's a very light lemon flavor. And these but, are lighter in color, too. So, and again, he ate all of his, of did. both of these. These, these are, both are hers. Mine because these are I hers. hoard them. I don't care. I'm, so, I'm going to eat them. These are the ones that are like the beaver nuggets, and these are the lemon ones. So they're lighter, but they're still really, really good. Mm. So, that's all we have for the snack attack for portion. Yes, now it's time for. Now it's time for my precious. <laughs> I did it again. I had to. It will probably happen every time now. Every time. Because he can't say, hi, y'all, or hey, y'all, without sounding like <laughs> Paula Deen. Hey, y'all. <laughs> so. Which is why we say hi, not hey. So, for for my precious, uh, one of my other hobbies <laughs> that I have. is coin collecting. Which is why it doesn't um, happen often. And if I say it fast enough, it might sound like I'm collecting corn. I'm not. <laughs> I don't collect corn. I collect coins. Um, so this is the first one that I have. And I bought this at a Las Vegas coin show simply because of how cool it looks. Again, this is when and he was knitting his scarf. No, this was no, uh, this is the second the trip. Second trip. Um, as you can see, this is a 2013 uh, Silver Eagle. Oh. And it Pardon is... Me. It Live is update. a uh, mixed finish. So you have the, the frosted devices on a mirrored background, but part of the devices are also mirrored. And then there's the there's the back of it. And I just think I think this coin just looks so cool. And that's the only reason I really bought it is because of how cool it looks. So that's mine. And while she's doing that, I'll do I'll do another one. Oh, no, we're good. I just got to put it... But I want to do another one. Okay. Okay. So if you're watching this when it pops up, I just did update on my show. Live update. So this is Saturday, Y'all go check it out. Y'all go check it out. Today's Saturday. February... February something, something or another. 17th. 17th. Sure, why not? Let's <laughs> go with that date. Um, so this one is not actually a coin. It's a metal. Uh, and my wife's beautiful grandmother... Gave this to me. Grammars, Mom. if you're watching, I love you I so much. I doubt she will. But. I doubt she'll watch. <laughs> but even still, even still, I love her grammars. <laughs> uh, this is a medal from the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame. Not the baseball team, but the lawman group. Uh, this is a medal from their Hall of Fame that her husband owned. My papa. Before my wife's papa before he passed away, sadly. Um, he never got to meet him. I never him, got though, to I never got to meet him. They would have got along so great. They're so I would much hope alike. So. But this is the backside of it, and it is silver. And I have tried and tried to find 
the rest of the collection in silver. I can only find it in bronze, and I don't know why. But it's got the the Texas we even Star went to on the there. The Texas Rangers Museum to look for one. Yeah, we we've been to the Hall of Fame, and I guess this was done well before we got to go there. Mm -hmm. But I love this coin. It was not in the slab when she gave it to me. Mm -hmm. It was this is something that I did. Uh, I sent it off and got it graded, got it slabbed. So that way, the as you can see, it's got a patina on it around the edge where it's kind of turning brown. That is not rust. That is simply the metal uh, toning, as it's called. So, and I have another one that I'm going to show after she goes that you'll see a different kind of toning. But I love this one. This one will never get sold. Um, I would get very upset at him if he I would get very upset at myself if I ever had to sell this. That is a so. family heirloom from now on. So those are two of my preciouses. And now it's your turn. Can I show two of them? I don't care. Okay. I don't care. You go right This. <laughs> I collect, again, no makers. Um, this was her Valentine mini skein set. And it is. That's cool. It's... No calorie Valentine's box. It's in a mm. chocolate box. <laughs> I'm going um, to eat some more nuggets. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see. I believe this is Love Schmuff. Love True Love. Lovey Dovey. Mm. Look at the back right here. I this, am. this is Love Schmuff. Oh. No, this is Lovey Dovey. I know that's Lovey uh -oh. Dovey. I know that's lovey dovey. This is waffles and this is mimosa. This is zombie kisses. This one just wants to be cast on apparently. Um, Get something off the needles first. Eh, I'm not going to cast it on. Um, do you love, love me and I love you. I want a full skein. Oh! They really, really want to be knit. So we're going to put those back. But that is by No Makers. And I am in the process of collecting all of her mini skein sets. And I want to do them in one big project. Problem is, no clue what that project is. So they're just going to sit in my stash and look pretty. Because I have them on display. <laughs> in my office. And then... Let's do this one because this one is a fairly new dyer. This one is the Yarnbrary. And this is her Just Jane colorway. She just opened maybe about a month ago. But she does a podcast called Meanwhile in the Castle with her sister. But the tags, she gives you the basis because these are all based on books. And then it looks like the old style cards you would get in the library you know most young kids wouldn't have a clue what that is now because it's all computerized they never had to use a card catalog to look up things or do a decimal stamp. system for life yo <laughs> but this was part of her jane Eyre series but i love this one gray Pink is my favorite color, but I really tend to go towards gray, which is why most of our house got painted in gray tones. They're blue, but they're leaning gray. So, but there's that. I love it. No clue what it's going to grow up and become, but I tend to do that. Do you want me to go again since you're knitting? Uh, I'm almost done. I just got two more stitches and then I'll go. Okay. I don't mind going because I only have two more. No, well, I've only got one more, so... One more stitch, okay. one more precious, and then I'll turn it over. For him. So this is another coin, and it is another American Silver Eagle. Let's kind of get the glare off of it there. There we go. So it comes in a little white sleeve. It's got a little velvet box. And this one is the one that I was saying I have a different kind of toning on. And I bought it this way at a, at a coin club meeting. So this one turned all sorts of pretty colors. And all it is is the humidity in the air, heat. Some of it happens naturally. Sometimes people do it on purpose. 
but I love when you get these rainbow colors in there. And even on the back, it's got it as well. So, so he has old man tendencies. I he do. knits, I collects do. coins, and he plays golf. I do. I do all those things. <laughs> I am a grandpa in the making. So, But he's very much young at heart, too. <laughs> so as you can see, this one's got some really nice coloring to it. Some people don't like it. I do. And I'm not going to apologize about it. And I have no clue. He just shows it to me. I said, yeah, pretty. Yep. I show her and she's like, meh. <laughs> but those, my grandpa collected coins. So Those are my preciouses. And I have two more. Okay, this one, which by the way, she keeps getting me with her Instagram posts. This is Artistic Lily. Her colors, oh my goodness, so gorgeous. This is her vintage Valentine. And it's on her Gotta Have Shawls fingering. It's 100% superwash merino. But, oh my goodness, look at those colors. Oh, so pretty. And that's how I got my other Artistic Lily. And she recently posted another one that I might have to buy. So, and then my next one. These I had bought two years ago. When we were driving from North, when we were moving from North Carolina to Texas when he got out. But I had bought this one originally. They're on Sport, right? And they're Malabrigo. I bought this one to go with them. And this is by the Yarn Jar. And it's a Sport weight. It's 80-20 Superwash Merino Nylon. To go with these. But I was thinking it was a lot lighter. And it, it's a lot darker than I thought it was. So this is going to grow up and become something else. And I need to find something else. To go with these. I'm thinking a gray. Of course, I'm thinking a gray. I think a gray would look good. Even if you put it right in between them. Yeah. Like, that was a, my plan. like a, a light gray, a light smoky gray. Yeah. Both I of think these would look really good. Both of these are on the Ario base and they're Malabrigo. This one is Azul's and this one. How would you say that? You mean just show the Barajas. That. We'll, we'll call it we'll call it Barajas. <laughs> so, but yeah. So this one is going to grow up and become something else. No clue. I have kind of an idea, but not really sure. And that's all I have for my precious. My precious. <laughs> <laughs> but, in other news, I like you cherry much. So, <laughs> I just did a shop update, like, on air. As you were watching. Yes. A live, live shop it, shop update. Yes. And in that one, let's see. I have two new BFF sets, which in case you didn't know, that is my collection where you have one progress keeper and two stitch markers that go together. But, um. Here, do you want me to hold this while you hold them against it? Oh, you're just going to clip them. Yeah. Fine. Well, no, I'll still need you to hold that. Okay. Um, but it's things that go together. This one is the grilled cheese set. You get buttered toast and two pieces of cheese. And that one's wanting to jump <laughs> off the needle. So, and mm. these are in the shop right now. So there's that set that went in today. And the sweet tooth set. This one cracks me up. I don't know if anybody else is going to like it, but I think it's hilarious. Can you put the tooth on that one? I so will we put can... the tooth on this one. So, <laughs> we have chocolate and bubblegum. For your sweet part. And then you have a tooth. It's a little tooth. I kind of hung it on the backwards. Huh? Yeah, you did. My bad. Let me fix that. Um... And the, the chocolate has got a bite out of it because why not? <laughs> because if you don't take a bite out of it, do you really have a sweet tooth? <laughs> so there's the tooth. Smiling tooth. And that's your progress keeper. So that went into the shop. And as requested by one of my customers who bought a sheep. A white sheep. She said, am I going to make 
a black sheep with white face. With a white face. So I did. I obliged. And they kind of look like Sean the sheep. Not intended. That's just what please, happened. Please don't sue us, creators of Sean the sheep. Yeah, no, I did not. We do are it on not purpose. copying you. So, but there's the black one. And um, my first BFF set. Can you hold that one? Is milk and Oreos because who can really eat Oreos without milk? I mean, really. So there's a little glass of milk. And then you have your original Oreo and a vanilla Oreo with the cream and everything. So there's your milk. Those are in the shop too. Those are put in the last shop update. But, <clears throat> and please feel free if you have an idea or want to see something in a BFF set, combo me on Ravelry, which by the way, on Ravelry, I am wise mom too. And you are, I'm you don't remember. Sure. So if you I'm want to talk to sure. him, message me and I can ask him. <laughs> you want to write that down and we can pop it up quick. I'll, I'll put it on the, I'll okay. put it on the screen. As it on you the can screen. see, I have my Goblin King right yes. there, Jareth from the Labyrinth. And she has her Aurora. Yes. Or Sleeping Beauty, if you didn't know her name. So. Okay. And then this one, I just had to show. Well, let me finish what was already put into the shop recently. This is a ladybug. And a bumblebee. These are in the shop separately. But you can get these on either as a stitch marker with a O-ring or you can get them with a lobster claw. But it's a smiling bee. It's a bumblebee. Stinger and all. And again, not on purpose, but it kind of looks like the bee from Adventure Time. On the closing credits. <laughs> Didn't do it on purpose. So that's all that went in the shop. But this one I just had to show you because this one is my favorite that I've made so far. And you can't tell it by what I wear, but I really, really, really love bright colors. Pops of bright colors. So, of course, I made a unicorn. And it's a cake slice. She's got her hair. But it's a cake slice because before knitting, I was obsessed with cake decorating. I loved it, but that's not one that I got to do as often because we did not need the cake in the house. So my kids have always, <laughs> I have always made my kids cakes. And so I figured, well, if I'm not, I, I love to decorate cakes. It's just not something I can do often. So I figured why not make some charms so that I can decorate cakes that are not going to give you calories. And then the last thing I have, cause this one's been in the shop for a while and I just really like it cause it's bright. It's a little macaroon set. Neon macaroons. So, those are all my stitch markers. Not all of them, but some of them. <clears throat> but I also make bags. So, I have sweater size, but I didn't bring one. And I have shawl sized. This is my sock size bag. And this is zebras. Which, this is in, this print is in the shop in the sock bag. The boxy sock, the shawl, and the sweater. So, there's that. And then here's my boxy bags, which I love this print. <laughs> and we're from Texas, so it is all Coke. And then you say, what flavor? So, if you ask for a Coke and then order a Dr. Pepper, our kids will say, hey, Mom, can we get Cokes? Yes, and they will turn around and order root beer or Dr. Pepper or whatever. Or Sprite. But, or yes. So. Just not that diet junk. Yeah, no, we don't do the diet junk. Um, and then there's the inside. I know some other bag makers have put this on the outside. And then this on the inside. But I really liked this on the outside. Because I want it to be different. And our dog Kiki cannot decide what she wants to do. Yeah. She might need to go outside. Which Kiki, her name is short for Waikiki. Because we've... We love Hawaii too. We've only been once. And it was not for a great reason. But no. So. No, but we still got to go, and that was yeah. nice. Well, we were living in Okinawa. I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer, and they sent us there. So, if you're going to get cancer, that's the best place to go. I think it's the table that's kind of freaking her out. Yeah. And then this is an Ocean's bag, but it's a boxy-shaped one. So, and this is the sushi cat, chef. 
And then, which I'm going to be putting more of Notion bags in the shop on the next update too. This is my extra large Notion bag. And there's the inside. Again, I'm slightly obsessed with British stuff, which is why I have a London print. <clears throat> and to go along with the British stuff, I have <laughs> the TARDIS in space. These are needle minders. Do you have some needles I can show real quick? No, not handy. Is it On a like... project, I just need to st slide them in to show. And then Do that's you need the double inside. points or just? Just regular. Oh, okay. I made these more for the circular needles. You can use double points, but I don't knit with double points, so I don't know how well it would work. They will fit. So, but you just take your needles, put them in, and then snap them. It's amazing! Again, another British show we love, <laughs> Horrible Histories. And it will keep your needles from it, coming out and your project from coming if, out. If you're watching and you want something educational <laughs> for your kids that everybody will laugh at, Even Horrible you. Histories. Yes. It's hilarious, and I didn't care too much for their last season, No, but uh, all their others are great. Last one is the Van Gogh TARDIS in space painting. It's not. It's the TARDIS exploding. TARDIS exploding, space. sorry. TARDIS exploding with yellow polka dots, because why not? And again, with the whole UK themed. This one is the London print, but in the... the Needle minder and then owls. Because again, why not? And it's in my favorite colors, pink and gray. Inside of that one is polka dot. Um, and then one more thing. My next update will have this material. This is going to be the outside. But if you put, well it goes that way because the birds, you know, don't sit sideways on the trees. But I thought that was nice and springy and... Oh, I thought it was flamingos. No. I thought the pink was flamingos. No, it's birds. And then these are kind of shimmery, but it's gray and white. It's white with gray polka dots. So, but if there is a bag size you prefer, put it down in the comments. Let me know and we'll see what we can do about getting it in the shop for you. So, but I... I think that's it. It's time for the tail end. The tail end. Tail end. And no, we're not going to show our butts. <laughs> Do you have anything else you would like to add? Um, I I do not. I think um, I think that's every two weeks is what we're shooting for. The, like we said, this is uh, this is episode Ichi, Ichi. or one. Yes. Uh, uno. Um, ein. If you're in Germany, <laughs> if you're in Germany, I don't know if you've understood anything we've said up to this point. But I hope you speak English. Hope you speak English. Uh, not because and you should, but if you're because... Japanese, pardon how we pronounce yes. Japanese. Yes. Um, <laughs> but I, I think, yeah, I think every two weeks we're going to look to upload a new video. This one was just kind of spur of the moment. We have some show notes that we wrote down. So we um, may or may not have some in the Ravelry group. So we, we, which we'll I put will... a link in Ravelry to the video. Um, we're gonna. I'm going to try and get a Ravelry group up before we get the post up so you can go and join the group and stuff because we do plan on having some cows so, and giveaways. Hopefully this will be the start of something that goes on for quite a while and we can uh, make a thing out of it. Who knows? You know, yeah. stranger things have happened and maybe we can get worse things are on the internet than this. <laughs> so maybe we can get the two kiddos involved a little bit more too. Maybe. Right now they're kind of iffy about it, but we'll see. We're not going to force them. Nope. We'd like for them to, but, and this podcast is not always going to be just mostly knitting. We tried to no. throw in some extra things, but like we said, first one, it, it's, it's a little bit of everything, but mostly knitting. And if you have an idea of something you would want to see on here. Uh, or if you have questions about anything that we've showed you, uh, by all means, message us. Find us on Instagram, on Ravelry. We're there. Uh, we are going to do a segment called Millennial Monkey Adults. And it's going to be things that our teenage, our daughter. teenage daughter does that most millennials can't seem to figure out. Uh, or 
people in other places don't know about. Yeah. Uh, I won't call out anybody specifically, but you know who you are. Also, check out my shop if you like. If check you out Cherry Pie you want. Cottage. It's um, all one word, but Cherry is capitalized, so it's pie and so it's cottage. But he can throw up a link here to the shop. Hopefully. If not, then I just made really funny finger noises. Noises. Motion. Finger, finger gestures. Finger gestures, uh, yes. She's not throwing gang signs. No. I don't do video editing, so this is going to be a new venture for us. So if you see this at all, that means he was successful. If you don't, that means we had to film it twice. <laughs> we'll see. So that's the end of it. Sayonara and arigato. And read your Bible. Yes.